Hello dear viewer, now we are going to see the transform orientation, but this time the custom orientation that we get through this plus sign. Where does it serve? Assume that you want to model a house like this, a shape like this. You need to have this part of the roof extruded according to the inclination of this one. I'm going to demonstrate this using this object. I tab out of edit mode, select this object and again go to the edit mode. When you try to select this face for extrusion and extrude it, or oh, it goes weird. It can't go according to this face. This normally happens when you are in the in the global orientation. So you need to create your own orientation in view to have this part in extruded according to this inclination. To demonstrate this. I will start a new file. Go to camera mode. Zoom in so that you can see. I will maximize the 3D viewport so that you can clearly see by pressing control space. I will scale this cube. I'll scale it on Y axis, scale it on X axis, by the way I have activated the screencast keys add-on here so that you can see what I'm doing here in the lower left right corner. I'll select the cube again, go into edit mode. I'll go to edge select mode, select two upper edges, the left and the right. I will go to edge select and select subdivide edge ring. I will set the number of cuts to one. Because I need only one cut in the middle. I select this middle edge, grab to Z axis to have a shape like a roof. I'll go to face select mode, select the two top faces, extrude them to Z. Now this is where the custom orientation, transform orientation comes handy. I will select this face, go here, create a custom orientation. I push the plus sign, I'll call it let's say face A. I create a second one according to this face so that I can later on extrude according to this inclination. I go again to transform orientation. I create a new one by clicking the plus sign. I call it let's say B. Now I have the two custom orientations. I go to this face. I choose the custom orientation of face A because I want the inclination to come according to this face. I extrude 
on x. Because x is the new orientation here, or according to this transform orientation. Let me, for example, set it to 0 0.3. Minus 0 0.3 can do the work. I go to extrude this second face, this one, but I use the inclination of this face. So that is the transform according to face B. I extrude X 0 0.3. Now I have a shape like a house, but I need to extrude this right and left sides. I select them and then hit E for extrude. Again, I can let me set it to zero. 0.3 and then extrude this one Zero point three. this time I use the face B but of course as you have seen the axis has now become z it doesn't matter the only thing is that i just needed to have an extrusion according to the inclination of and the direction of these faces so dear viewer that is all with the custom transform orientation as you can see now i have a shape like a house and the inclination is good according to the inclination of the upper part of the roof. Thank you. That is what we have today about the transform orientation. I hope you can push subscribe or click on the notification bell so that we can grow our channel and you can see our future videos. Thank you. Ciao. See you next.